Drought and Xordidos as a paradigm shifter in Linux Mobile Space. How do the attackers automate their methods to get in victim systems? How do they stay there? What should Sysadmin be aware of? The Trojan comes with embedded loadable kernel of the older rootkit. Why is its installation difficult? Which indicators of compromise does it hide? Are they all covered? What DDoS targets are preferred? How long does an attack on one network IP usually last? What network bandwidth could be reached by one victim? Both powerful servers, as well as inconspicuous machines with little security measures, for the time being, could be compromised. Sordidos is not an isolated, exceptional threat. The number of contemporary DDoS bots in Linux Mobile Space has reached 1000, and it has so already a few months ago. Why are the reasons they grow so quickly? What security options are there for mitigating their actions? 